This is a herb called chives, which Sarah enjoys eating, don't you, Sarah? It's alright, I'm not going to film you. They're uh, quite a tasty uh, herb. There's a bit of herbs in the garden here. This is something called um, uh, Florence fennel. It's bulbs up. This top bit goes quite well uh, to cook fish with. You know, cut the fish open, uh, clean it, put some of the, this stuff in. Uh, in, the, in the cavity and grill it, uh, or rather um, oven bake it, makes a nice um, uh, aniseed type flavour. And these are some of the... Uh, these willows have taken incredibly well, haven't they, Julia? These yeah. brought back from yeah. Somerset. Because uh, these all just came back as little sticks, you can see it in there, there's a little cut stick. They were about a foot long and I, I covered them well with soil because I didn't want them to dry out. But okay. every one, has, I don't think They're any have failed taken. to take. Yeah. This is our uh, back garden. We're somewhat constrained with what we can do in the back garden because of the drainage problem here. Uh, just the way things are, a lot of water comes through here. We've got this raised path and this is a raised bed. I don't know if you can see that the earth here is raised up about eight inches uh, above soil, level, above the ground level. If it didn't, it would be permanently wet through much of the year. So we've actually had a very dry season. You can see there are some bits of old wood, some uprights banged in there, some stuff along the side, uh, even a bit of, uh, of polythene to constrain all of this. Odd some things like mint here. I mean, we're never going to grow enough to feed ourselves out of a small space like this, but actually we, we, we attack the, the problem of um, this being very low, that the water drains through, I mean, sometimes it, this, this path here, you know, the water literally runs down it like a stream, doesn't it? In a, yeah. A wet year, we're just badly drained. And we're so, down near the river, we've got a high water table here. Yeah, so um, uh, this elevated bed was a good solution. I don't know if you can see more of that. This is our back garden. Um, things about the back garden, growing vegetables here, you want to grow high value stuff that needs a lot of attention, uh, stuff that needs daily attention, whether things like potatoes uh, and onions. Um, they're important, they're not such high value stuff and they don't need so much daily attention. So those are growing over at the orchard, but we've got a bit of land there. Uh, the willow here, uh, again we took advantage, where this, this is quite uh, poorly drained and quite wet here. Willow of course really likes uh, that. And uh, Julia had, as I think I mentioned earlier, um, a weekend. It was a, you went away for a weekend, didn't you, but it was only a day actually. Because a day, uh, course, at a place called Western Zoyland in Somerset, which is famous for the Battle of Sedgemoor. Uh, turning point of English history, uh, great slaughter, interesting thing to read about, uh, sad business, many years ago, and very famous for the willow industry. I'll say a bit more, a few more shots from this little garden area later, but what we've got here, this willow, it's been grown on here, just because it's very delicate, came with little dry sticks back from Somerset, this willow has been grown on, uh, there's many different varieties here, and these will be moved out to the uh, uh, little piece of land at the orchard later. Where we grow willow, and there's a few odds and bits here. I think that's forage. I think that's a that's a there's herb. There's a lot of self seeding in there, which I'm leaving yeah. because I can use them for salads. Bit of carrots and there's odds and chard ends. Chard and spinach. Chard, spinach. And this, this is all. This is slightly chaotic, but not as chaotic as you might think. Well, I and grew salads here last year, and so some of them have seeded. Yeah. So I picked out the weeds, and I'm leaving the salads grow, and then I can take them out. Yeah. And there's some strawberries coming on. If you can see that little strawberry. There's some more chives. That's Sarah, she won't, she won't be filmed. We haven't got any photographs of her because of uh, autism. She won't last to be filmed. But she likes to pick the heads off of these chive plants and eat them raw. And uh, anyway, uh, what you're just doing is planting a little circle of beans. Yeah. And can you just say uh, what, what sort of I've beans got these are? Just a few runner bean plants. Yeah. And also at the same time I'm going to put in some seed. These are some early ones. So these have been grown indoors from seeds yeah. in pots. And then they've been hardened off for two weeks. Yeah. What does the hardening off mean? It ask. means being left outdoors during the warm sunny days for a few yeah. days and then the last week we haven't had any night frost so they've been out day and night. Yeah. And it toughens them up so that they're ready to yeah, go in right. the ground now without being and too And these are a bit of support. You'll probably put some more substantial support in here later, won't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, I'm going to try and use hazel. I'm trying to get away from using yeah bamboo canes and use our own materials yeah. because this is safe yeah, to local. use and it's local. We've got lots of it. I I'm going to reinforce this with more strong sticks. Okay, well I'll try and keep these uh, videos about a vegetable growing sort of reasonably short and uh, fairly frequent. 
and um, we also got some strawberries coming on and uh, these are some again you recognize this sort of those are Logan Bruce. Uh, so this sort of style flowering. similar to the um, uh, espalier pears um, these are not exactly espaliers but these are grown in a climbing frame to get the mo maximum benefit out of it and also it's a pleasant visual shield from our uh, neighbours uh, uh, garden where we, people are packed very close together here in England uh, we may get on with our neighbours very well and we wish them well and uh, everything but uh, sometimes you like a little bit of privacy and so growing something like this uh, can you know something climbing like this give you a nice little bit of visual shelter Okay, signing out on the um, uh, last Saturday, I think, of May. Last Sunday of May. Might be June next week. I love June.